Let's go. Let's go. Welcome, welcome. Wine and dine. Wonderful Wednesdays. Wine and dine. Get your wine, everybody. Let's like and share, if you will. Get your wine. Cheers. Like and share. All right. Let's see. Let's see if we can get this together right. Okay. I'm going to do a little quick meal. I'm going to do some deep fried neck bones. Yeah, deep fried neck bones, collard greens, and some cornbread. So I'm going to get ready to kind of get my cornbread in the oven first and get that out of the way, kind of, sort of, whatever. I've got a box of Jiffy Mix and a cup of cornmeal. Box of Jiffy Mix and a cup of cornmeal. Everybody wants ingredients, kind of like I'm trying to do the best as I can, okay? This is uh, a box of Jiffy Mix and a cup of cornmeal, okay? And I brought this from Dollar Tree and it tasted good. That's uh, some milk, it says birthday cake, so that's gonna be my little extra sweetener to it. And I've got me some sugar here, that's probably about maybe a quarter cup. And I've got three eggs. and some sour butter cream. I'll up two. So now I'm going to add me some oil. I'm about to have my oil out. I'm going to add a little bit of canola oil. And I've got some butter that I've melted and browned a little bit in the oven. Got a little bit of brown butter here. It's just getting the butter cooked and just cook a little bit till it gets dark. Okay. I got a big pan because I like mine to be thin. I think you get a better bite out of it when it's thin versus it being thick. But hey, everybody does it their own way. So again, this is a cup. This is a box of Jiffy Mix, a cup of cornmeal three eggs, milk, sour cream, some canola oil, and a stick of butter. I got my oven already preheated at 375. Let's get you in my pan here. Ah, oh, let me spray my pan first. Not do it. I do have the butter, but I'm going to also spray it as well. Okay, going in the oven at 375, I think I'm going to put it in for about 25 minutes. Alexa, time for 25 minutes. Now, Good evening, Wendell. 25 minutes, starting now. Let's kind of get my 
greens going first, and then we will get going with the neck bones. Let me get the greens going first because they're going to need to start cooking a little bit here. So I'm going to have to move you around, camera. Ah, I'm going to have to move you around, camera, so you can still see the process at work. All right. Okay. All right. I'm getting ready to get my grease going here for my fat back. That's all I'm going to season it with, some fat back. And I've got my collars. I've actually blanched those. I've, uh, I'm, I like blanching them and putting them in the freezer kind of where I don't have to cook them so long and then get them all prepared. That frost on them in the freezer kind of helped tender them out a little bit as well. So again, I'm doing a quick little meal. I'm going to do some deep fried neck bones, which I've already seasoned and let them marinate. I did those overnight. So you can season them an hour or two or whatever. I like mine to sit overnight so that that season can get in it. And I'm gonna let you know what I season them with. I'm gonna let you know what I season them with. So don't forget to get your wine. Like and share if you will. I got a guest coming over. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Let's get this grease hot. I got some spices that I'm gonna use in my collards, which is some seasoning salt. I'm sorry. Garlic salt, coarse pepper, some salt. And I've got this red jalapeno and garlic. That's gonna give it a little spice. You can use red pepper, but I'm gonna use this uh, jalapeno and garlic. That's gonna give it that jump, because I, I normally use crushed red pepper. I'm not gonna also season my oil once I'm ready to put my collets in with a little bit of this uh, minced garlic. All right, we're getting there, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Don't forget to like and share if you will. Get your wine, everybody. Let me pull my neck and the bones out. My neck bones, I season them with what I call my all-purpose seasoning. My go-to seasoning is smoked paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, garlic salt, a little bit of salt, and black pepper. Again, I season these with some garlic salt, garlic and onion powder, smoked paprika, salt, and pepper. Yeah, that's what I get. Again, salt, pepper, garlic salt, onion powder, garlic powder, and smoked paprika. That's what I season these neck bones with. I think we're kind of ready here. Let's see if it's ready. Oh yeah, it's getting there, it's getting there. And my seasoning that I'm gonna season my neck bones with is a new season I just kind of put together and I use it on my fries. So I'm gonna see if this gonna guy give it a kick, which this is some mild, hot, um, what is it, that uh, bread, seafood bread, the chicken bread. It's medium hot chicken breader and a little bit of uh, flour, all purpose, not all purpose, uh, self rising flour, self rising flour and medium, uh, medium heat uh, bread breader, chicken breader. Okay, so this is ready. So let me put my fat back in here and get that going. If you don't do pork, you can do turkey or whatever you want. I use pork. I use pork in about everything. Pork is good. Pork is good. So, I, I got some oil in my pot, as you see, that I'm using to fry my fat back with. I've got some bacon reserve grease that I'm going to put a little dab in as well. I'm going to use a little bit of my bacon reserve grease in here. So 
want to get this fat back cooked. And get the collard greens going. Oh, I better move the stuff out of the way so y'all can see, right? My bad. I'm sorry. I'm trying to do too many things at one time. So don't forget to like and share if you will. Again, I'm doing some deep fried neck bones, collard greens, and cornbread. Fry up a little bit and that, that pressure cook down a little bit on it. So, good evening, good evening. I'm sorry. I'm not, let's see, uh, Taronda, Rosa, Rose, how are you? Rainy, Karen, my cousin Chris, how are you? Everybody, get your wine like your chef, you will. Cheers. Mm -mm. I'm drinking Stella in the rose black. Yeah, here we go. That lid makes it pop, y'all. It puts the pressure on it that it's gonna have to cook and cook fast. All right, that back about ready. Fat back is about ready. Fat back's about ready. Ready, Freddy. Mon frere. Okay. Now the fat back is ready. Let me turn my, my cooker down. Yeah. That back is ready. Although I had my plate that I took it off on, I got a napkin to kind of get my grease, so we still good, y'all. Don't judge me. I'm gonna just think I'm gonna pull a little bit of this grease out and put it in my pot that I'm gonna deep fry with to see if I got enough. I don't wanna put too much grease in. And move you over here for now. And I probably got enough. This is probably enough for grease. Let me see. Let me take a label of it out. And let's see. Okay, now I'm going to put a little bit of my minced garlic in here. That's, that's going to give me my seasoning. And I'm also going to, ooh, yeah, that did it. And I'm going to put a little bit of my bacon reserve grease in here. Just a tad bit. Okay, and this is my collard green here. I got two more bags where I've already got done. Believe it or not, this is two bags. Two bunches of collard. Oh yeah, that's enough grease. That was it. Oh, that smells so good. Mmm. Mmm. Let me get just a little bit of that oil back. Now I'm going to put in my little spices here. Again, this is the jalapeno and garlic. I, I'm trying to measure y'all, but you know that's hard. My garlic salt. A little bit of salt. Pepper. 
Oh, I need a little bit of sugar too to kind of help with that bitterness from the collards. Just a little. Add some water, some liquid here. Mm -hmm. And a little bit more. Okay, so now I need to change eyes. Move you out the way. This over here and let this cook over here. Uh, let the collards cook over here. And get my grease on. Get that heated up. Let me put this. I'm gonna leave a few pieces of the fat back out. I know. I, 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 I tried to tell you, I could be trying to measure, but it doesn't work. So I need to get a little bit more liquid. It's probably about two cups of liquid is what I'm using here. Because I like for it to kind of cook up with it. So I'm going to get this going, get that pumping. Now we're going to get our oil going for get the oil going for our deep fried neck bones. Okay. Oh, let me put this up. Get this all out of your way while the grease is getting hot. Okay, now the grease is getting hot, the collars are cooking, and the cornbread. Ooh, oh, look at that cornbread. I need to melt some margarine to go over that. I need to melt some margarine. <coughs> So we're getting my grease hot. And these are my pork neck balls. Again, I let these sit overnight and I season them with salt, pepper, smoked paprika, garlic salt, onion powder, and garlic powder. This is what I season these with. And this, my, my, my coating mixture is the seafood breader, which is the medium heat seafood breader, and some self-rising flour. Okay. We got the neck and the bones. Kind of coat there. Okay. All 
right. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just, I'm doing it all backwards. I'm sorry. Just covering up everything where you can't see. Forgive me, please. Forgive me. get going we'll be ready to rock and roll let me get this butter and get from out of the way get from out of the line of fire with that again I'm doing some deep fried neck bones some collard greens and cornbread I think I need to move this rack here so the top can get good and going. All right. We got the butter ready for that. Margarine that is. Ugh. Okay. So come on Grease. Do your thing bro. Oh yeah. These is popping. These is jumping. The collard greens is jumping, y'all. My company ought to be showing up shortly. Uh, if if Infinity Boutique is what her boutique is, so we're letting this get right and ready. What they say, stick a wooden poop. It's not frying, so it's not ready. Let's see. Let's see. Let's get it. Let's get it. And I probably can get all my neck bones because this is a very deep well part and it cooks really good. It fries really, really well. I can't remember what this. I got this from an estate sale. And when I tell you it's the bomb triple.com, I truly love it. I can't think of the name of this brand. But I like this deep well or pot belly. Pot belly, I think what's this called. But I'm, that's the brand. Again, I'm doing deep fried neck bones, collard greens, and cornbread. Oh, the cornbread is looking good. If nothing else comes out right, that cornbread. Oh my, lions, tigers, and bears. Yes, sir. We want this to get piping hot, so those neck bones can jump and pop. I gotta find me something to put y'all in when y'all come out. Oh no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. I can use this skillet. I can use this skillet. I can use this skillet. Put the neck bones in. Y'all hear them collars popping over there? Them collars is popping, baby. Baby, baby. Oh, wow, this cornbread. Alexa, how much time left? You have five minutes and 10 seconds left on your 25 minute timer. Probably have to go a little bit more. That bottom is done, but that brown, I want it pretty. I want that brown top birdie. Again, I'm doing a uh, some deep fried neck bones, collard greens, and cornbread. Don't forget to get your wine, like and share if you will, y'all. Cheers. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see.
Yeah. I want it to really. So it's not ready yet. It's not ready yet, y'all. It's getting there, though. It's getting there. It's getting there. I know these collars is pumping, y'all. Baby, baby. Ooh wee. Collets and greens. Mm. Oh, that carburet is looking like magic. Let's see. Let's see. All right. I think we're ready. I think we're ready. Yeah. I think we're ready, y'all. I think we're ready. I think we're ready, Freddy. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Hit you a little bit. Mm -mm. Let's get these neck bones going, y'all. pork neck bones. Ooh, now I'm splattering. Yeah. I'm splattering now, y'all. <coughs> mm. cooking with that. So now let me put the rest of these bad boys in here and we'll be ready to rock and roll. about my cornbread, right? Alexa, how much time left? You have 40 seconds left on your 25 minute timer. Let's see. Oh, that's about it. Look at the cornbread. Oh my. Look at the cornbread. Let me move this over here from now. So you can see the cornbread when it come out. So you can see the cornbread. So you can see the cornbread. Alexa off. Let me do a quick broil. Let me do a quick broil. I'm gonna do a quick broil for about Alexa timer for three minutes. Three minutes, starting now. 
Oh, y'all, look at these neck bones. Look at these hem poke neck bones. These pork neck bones. These pork neck bones. Father God, thank you for the food that we're about to receive. May be used for the nourishment of the Father, Father God Christ. And we say thank you, Jesus, Lord God, and amen. Peace of that back. Back back. Mm -hmm. Now, for me, timing the how long I cook the neck bones, I'm just kind of looking at them. I'm just kind of looking at them. Just kind of looking at them, y'all. Oh, that's good. That's good. Cornbread looks good now. I can turn that roller off. What you think? What you think? Con cornbread. I like mine thin, because you get a better bite with it thin for me. Now that ain't the gospel, that's just me, that's just Wendell. I like mine thin because you can, it tastes, you can get a better taste from it. Although my oven is turned off, I'm gonna send it back and kind of let that butter cook down in it. Let's see here. Oh Lordy. Oh Lordy. Oh Lordy. Alexa, timer off. Three minute timer canceled. Alexa, timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, starting now. I'm gonna let these kind of cook down a little bit more for about 15 minutes on the collets and I think we should be about ready. So, Let's start with getting the neck bones out. Let's see. Let's see. Are y'all done? Are y'all done? Oh, wow. Oh. 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 I scored. I scored. Fried neck bone. That's it. Fried neck bone. There's a little piece of the meat that was by itself. I think these are about ready to come out. I think they're ready. Ooh, I'm about to burn myself. Look at that. Deep fried neck bones. What will they think of next? Let me pull you to the side. For One minute. Hello? Stop it. Stop it. Get, get. Grease here. I've got some neck bones that I just put Ooh, up. Ooh, smells so good. So I'm gonna put this last batch in here. I'm gonna and, get it set up here. Okay. We're gonna be rocking and rolling. Uh huh. 
So how has your day been so far? Great, great, great. I'm among the land of the living. Oh, that's always right. Okay. I mean, they have all the things that I want, but he's meeting seen about my needs. Come on now. Yeah. And that would make me want to hold on a little while. Longer. Just a little while. <laughs> Just a little while. I'm going to say just a little while. Yes, sir. Trying to see what the end going to be. Yes, sir. We're going to work it out. Of course. Y'all, this is one of my good friends from way back. We actually worked at Chase together. Hey, y'all. Sonia Douglas, Infinity Boutique. Sorry, I'm late, guys. In the house. Look at it, y'all. Hey. Looking all woo. <laughs> It's Wine Down Wednesday, girls. You know what a glass of wine you like to feel like that lady, lady type? Oh, right oh. Now. She's a lady, y'all. I'm a lady today. She's a lady. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to move my... Oh, okay. There you go. Wait. Wait. Blue. Nobody in coffee with all that racket now, buddy. Blue said, y'all, you got to guess where's mine. We ain't got for all that racket, buddy. So, here is the it's one of the finished product of the deep fried neck bone. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna be plating up in a little bit, so Sonia can give her true, honest opinion. Nothing else. Well, I can go ahead and say it smells good, and I know when I see that fat back. Okay. Oh, that gonna put the season in the gas. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we finna make it. We finna make it do. So the collops is simmering right now, and the con bread is ready. Oh, that's so good. So we're gonna we're gonna make it make it do what it do. Alexa, how much time left? You have nine minutes and ten seconds left on your 15 minute timer. Ooh, this front needs to be. I know a lot of people say they don't cook coffee in the summertime because they don't be good and tender, but mm -hmm. we trust and believe this is gonna work. This is gonna work. It will. It's gonna work. It's all about what you put into them. There you go. There you go. Making it happen, making it happen. Let's cut some. So, what can I help you with? Just be your great loving chef. That's all we need. Oh. You let them see how good that corn bread is? Oh, that's good. I'm all over this soda, y'all. It's looking bad. And I try to do them thin because I, for me, it's the thinner they is. The better you get a better taste out of it. Mm -hmm. So Ooh, falling apart, girls, everybody. Mm -hmm. So grandma also says that if you ain't cooking, tell them what? Stay out the kitchen. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'm just gonna go over here and fill and I'm gonna share with my audience. I guess we can do it after you cook. Mm -hmm. About your cookbook while you were Fixing that up. Oh, I did bring. Let me make sure I got it right. Yeah, just the journal and the journal and the recipe book. Make sure if you are not already following him, follow him on Facebook at Wendell Jackson. This is a face that you can't forget. 
Are you there? I got me some good PR people. You know what? Look at God. Yes. Look at God. Blue, blue, Make get sure back. you go and get your copy. Copies can be purchased through Wendell, Facebook Wendell Jackson. And also included with the package. Is this a package Wendell? Yeah. Uh -huh. You also get your journal. Can't go wrong. We love supporting our small businesses. Let's get back in the kitchen cooking with Mr. Wendell. Mm. Yay! Okay, so let me show this, not just this face, this smile. It, he is unforgettable. <laughs> Make sure you go and follow him and pick up a copy of his cookbook. For the people that are just joining, could you let them know what you're picking up in the kitchen today? Oh, okay. I am doing a, um, I'm doing some deep fried neck bones and collard greens and cornbread. Mmm. Sounds good to be on a Wednesday, right guys? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Deep fried neck bones. Okay. Take me back. <laughs> yeah, so.